Hello, racing fans. I'm Charlotte McBride, welcoming you to another edition of PA Harness Week, racing's fastest-paced half hour. We're here from inside the paddock at Harris Chester Casino and Racetrack, and we have a very exciting show ahead. You don't want to miss it. Coming up, we'll introduce you to driver trainer Tron Smedshammer, who sledgehammered the competition this week in his native country of Norway. We'll also show you the handsome Corey Callahan, who pulled out a huge upset in a huge race up in the Poconos. Coming up, he'll give us his secret to success. And finally, we'll head to the Meadowlands for two big finals, plus give you the best of the best on the tracks at Pocono and Chester. Stay in your seat because racing's fastest paced half hour is coming up right now on Comcast Sportsnet. Oh, they go. Explosive matter wins the Colonial easily. Underway. Well, a huge, hearty harness welcome to you, harness racing fans. <laughs> I'm Steve Ross along with Heather Moffitt, and this is PA Harness Week, and we like to call it Harness Racing's fastest paced half hour. And boy, do we have action personified for you this particular week. All right, not the least of which is we want to talk about our website, don't we? I do. You just read my mind. I was going to say, I am so addicted to the website, not just because it's got video of us on it, mm -hmm. but it's just a fun website to go to. I really enjoy it. And there's photos of us that are suitable for framing or suitable for framing someone, depending upon what you want to do with it. But you can also go to the website and you can put your email address down easy and you can win yourself a free dinner at Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs or Harris Chester, right? That's right. Well, I, I don't think I'm allowed to win the dinner. No, we're not eligible, right? Yes. Okay. So, but you guys are out there. Okay. A couple things. You can also go there. We asked a question a few weeks ago and I don't want anybody to think that we don't pay attention to what comes back, the feedback we get. By the way, if you're going to say bad stuff about us, don't feedback, okay? Glowing stuff, great stuff. Gee, love Stephen and Heather, they're great, yada, 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 yada. That's good. Okay. We asked a few weeks back if you owned one horse and you could get any driver in the world to drive this particular horse, who would that driver be? And we got some interesting responses. Alan said he would pick Hervé Fillon in his prime, but since that's not possible, he'll go with Brian Sears. Okay. Ed said one driver, he would pick Ron Pierce. Brian voted for John Campbell. Howard said the magic man Bill O'Donnell, and Tina said Tim Tetrick because she thinks he's cute. So it doesn't matter what the reason. So the, it's harnessweek.com. Give us your feedback, and we'll read it here on the show in future weeks, okay? And now let's get to the action because it's important, is it not? Oh, it's the utmost importance. Yes, Crucial. that's what the show's all about. I will get to it. We're going to head to Mohegan Sun of Pocono Downs to kick things off. The Open, $60,000. One more laugh is in here. He is the better's choice. He just won here at Harris Chester in 151-2 and two last time out. St. Elmo uh, Fire, St. Elmo Hero. I did it again. I don't know who named that horse, but oh, right to the moon when I meet them. Okay. <laughs> he is, his streak is over, but I love him. He's a fighter. He's still a winner to me. Vintage Master. This horse is five years old. Time flies, doesn't it? This is just his second start back after his vacation. The eight to five favorite is now fifth, coming off that big win at Chester and trying to vanquish his Pocono Demons. Looks a little bit uh, rough there around that turn. At the end now, our I'm confident Whiskey beat the half 54 and one, 28 and one second panel. They are zooming on the front end here. St. Elmo Hero pressured by Vintage Master. Less than a half length away. Good trip for Legal Litigator and Merriman. Now Golden Receiver under a drive from Pavia. About three and a half back. Further back. Not happening for one more laugh. Moving past him. I'm confident. Now to three quarters in. One, twenty, and four. Oh, yikes. Twenty-six and three. Third panel there. It's St. Elmo Hero on the inside. Outside Vintage Master. They've hooked up. Legal Litigator right in behind their third. Watch the timer here. Top of the stretch. Vintage Master now takes over the lead. St. Elmo Hero not relenting on the inside, but Vintage Master is getting the best of this down the stretch. St. Elmo Hero was issued a buy in the graduate, didn't take it, raced, and didn't make the final. That's called the ultimate 
you know, gotcha. Anyway, he quarter pole to the lead for the second straight week. He got out guts by a horse that came first over. This time, it was Vintage Master who beat him to the wire in a 149 flat mile. Legal litigator off a 28 to 1 with Aaron Merriman, who I guess is now racing at Pocono. Oh, I didn't realize that. I know he does a lot of driving uh -huh. his car to a lot of places to, a lot, to do a lot of driving horses. I don't think he drove from Northfield to Pocono, but anyway. Okay, he got third. One more left. This was odd because he got a perfect trip behind Vintage Master. Then he backed up and got beat a ton by like 21 lengths. So something obviously happened to one more laugh. We'll try and find out what it was and hope it wasn't too serious, okay? All right, now we'll go to Saturday's 10th race, and Heather will set that bad boy up for you. Uh, let me just say something about Aaron Merriman, just really fast. Totally following me on Twitter. He's Hello. Stalking you? <laughs> no, following uh, me. And I'm following him, and I'm going to find out if he did drive from Northfield to Pocono. Okay. Just to prove you wrong. <laughs> okay, in here, Custer the Dragon coming off a huge sire stakes win at Chester. Uh, Dana's sharp, smart on a five win streak here. And then Movie Idol, love that name, made a bobble in his last start. But other than that, he's racing super well. I just think he's a little outclassed in here. It's Dana's sharp, smart, controlling matters here by a length. Kakali has not lifted a finger. Custer the Dragon with the great pocket trip. Prana is third steady there first over move now coming from george and vegas rusty picking up that cover movie idol into fifth dropping back sharp west hanover going by him on the outside smile a little three quarters now 124 and three 28 and two third panel they picked it up a bit there it's dana sharp smart vegas rusty gaining on the outside inside they're looking for room custard the dragon way out wide both movie idol and smile a little top of the stretch taking over the lead now is vegas is uh, Vegas Rusty outside Movie Idol. Far outside comes Smile a Little. It's going to be Movie Idol and Corey Callahan. The only way we can define this particular heat was it was totally bizarre. Why? Because all the chalk broke and it was scattered all over the field. And here comes Movie Idol picking up all the pieces. Owned by Callahan's, Nick Callahan, trained by Sean Callahan, driven by Corey Callahan. Goes up at 26 to 1, gets the trip of the gods, and wins the race in 152 and 4. He beats Vegas Rusty off a of 22 to 1 with Georgie Knapp by this much. And it was a heck of a mile. Smile Little got interfered with before the start, and a refund was given. But the horse comes back and finishes third, beating the length. And the horse, Dana Sharp Smart, uh, Smart Sharp rather, they filed a protest, which hasn't been decided yet because that horse is still trying to get into the final. It's utterly bizarre, but it's nuts. And maybe we can catch up with Corey Callahan, the winning driver, to find out exactly what his take was on this rather strange mile. Corey Callahan, you had the best seat in the house. What went on in that race? It was an odd race to Max Hampton Lim. Obviously, the result was good because you came out on top. But take us through the race and what went on in that, that crazy heat. Um, yeah, I mean, around the last turn, Montrell's horse started to, uh, you know, he run for a couple steps, and then all of a sudden, Matt's horse run, and, you know, people just started scattering. I was in a good spot anyway, you know, I mean, I was second over in the outer tier, and, uh, you know, we were making a good move there, and we got a good chance to miss all of the action, and a lot of them got scattered behind, and we kind of got away with an easy one. The final is tonight. The $250,000 Max Hemp Memorial Pace will take place at Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs. You can't tell the players without a program. We'll have to find out who's going to be in there, but it will be a memorable heat. Stay with us when we come back. We'll have more from Harris Chester, and also Susan will be here, our handicapper. She nailed an exact last week, and she'll be here with her segment called As the Wheels Turn. Don't go away. Mohegan Sun at Pocono Downs host the Max Hemp Memorial Final tonight. Hi, my name is Andy. If you're like me and always make a play for the trifecta, then go to the Downs Off-Track Wagering. I can triple up and bet the trifecta anytime. A $2 bet on the trifecta delivers big payouts like this. When it's my night out, I eat, play, and I win. Hey, that's a trifecta too. Downs Off-Track Wagering, Allentown, East Stroudsburg, Carbondale, Hazelden. Gambling problem? Call 1-800-GAMBLER.